for a point of view, which follows immediately, and then the Homemaker program at 1240. In closing my part, remember, if you want your dream to come true, don't oversleep. And now for point of view, here is a smashing program. Well, our guest today is a karate expert by the name of Bill James, who's also on the staff of WOI-TV. And uh, since he has such an interesting hobby, we thought we'd... Hobby, I guess I can call it a hobby in some sense. <laughs> Believe me, I didn't know whether I was going to hang on to that block or not. But uh, Bill is going to talk to us about karate today and some of the things that can be done uh, with karate. Uh, as you saw, the, the blocks being broken, and he certainly did a thorough job of it. I was standing next to him holding a block, and uh, let's see, you hit this pile with your hand and the this block with your elbow, is that right? Elbow, right? Now, Bill, what is, this is what most people uh, recognize karate as, a demonstration of strength, either breaking something with uh, your hands or your elbows, but uh, karate uh, would seem to me to be a lot more than just that, just breaking Well, things. Tom, it is. It's, uh, it's a lot more. In fact, uh, some people look on it as a religion, uh, belief. It, it is a belief in yourself, mm -hmm. belief that you can do it. And on top of that, of course, the tremendous training, time, and uh, concentration that it, uh, it takes to accomplish this. Uh, breaking boards, breaking bricks, tile, and so forth is merely one of the conditioning parts mm -hmm. of uh, karate. In other words, if, uh, if you can do this to boards and bricks and so forth, then you can also do it to the human body if you need it. Mm -hmm. Where did karate develop, Bill? Well, Tom, actually, karate, as all of the defensive oriental arts, originated uh, in the Orient and it started in the early 18th century with a form known as jujitsu, mm -hmm. or gentle practice, is what it's translated as. And, uh, of course, from jujitsu come all of your different uh, forms, such as your joints, your bones, choking, grappling arts. And uh, judo in itself, uh, Professor Kino went through all of the different judo, or uh, jujitsu, we should say. Mm -hmm schools that existed and uh, he combined them all, added a few variations of his own and in 1882 the art as we know it today of judo or translated meaning gentle way mm -hmm. came into being. And uh, Karate is not exactly the gentle way is it Bill? <laughs> well karate translated Tom in Japanese means bare hand. Mm -hmm. uh, all of this started when the uh, uh, Emperor of Japan put out the proclamation that uh, no private citizen or peasant or so forth could uh, carry weapons. Mm, I it, see. Was, uh, it was just the uh, samurai warriors that could yeah. carry weapons. So the people, to protect themselves, originated this jujitsu and finally down to judo, karate, aikido, gong fu, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Can you show us uh, uh, some more of the, uh, of the conditioning effect that, uh, that you have? We have some tile here that we'd like to... Uh, well, yes, Tom, we usually use... Break? <laughs> break. We usually use tile uh, for the mere fact that tile is harder to break than brick because it's, it's uh, less porous. Mm -hmm. These are uh, very... Uh, those are... Those are pretty regular. Good tile. <laughs> those are regular, what they call quarry tile or building tile. A lot of times we'll use a half round tile. Mm -hmm. well, I've, uh, yeah, I see what you mean. On these, for example, we can lay these on top of the bricks. Well, we, we have seven? I believe there's seven there. Which would be uh, about three or four inches or better, the solid. Right, about fairly, fairly solid pretty material. close to four inches. The only reason that we put a handkerchief or anything across the bricks or across a given piece of material is to protect your hand from the slivers. Mm -hmm. For example, on tile, they're very sharp. Uh, there's many different forms. Most people are real touchy about their elbow. If mm -hmm. They bang their crazy bone and so forth, or your fist, or your hand. Well, let's say, for example, on this one, we'll use what is referred to as a judo chop. However, it is actually one of the different means of karate. Go ahead, I'm gonna step and out of the way. Actually, because, uh, actually break this. Now, it will, it will take just a split second, a, a second of concentration to put my mind and body and muscles and so forth into this, so.
Now, let's talk about the, uh, the degree that we hear so much about. You are a black belt. Yes, Tom. I'm, Is that true? I hold a black belt in both judo and karate, and I hold a third dan. Mm -hmm. In other words, there's, uh, there's your different classes, which are your white and your brown belts, and then you go to your black belts. There's 10 black belts, and mm -hmm. I hold a third dan. Now, you got your training overseas, actually, in Japan, didn't yes, you? Yes, in Japan. Uh -huh. And this was during the time you were in the Marine Corps? Uh, yes, part of it was, Tom. Um, I didn't get all of the training in Japan. Part of it was in Formosa. Part of how it much, was, uh, uh, how much uh, work do you have to do to, to become as proficient as a black belt has to be? A how black belt, practice? if you work every day, this is every day, every week of the year, you can get it in approximately two years. Mm -hmm. now it, uh, I didn't work on it quite that hard, so it took me approximately four. Four years. Now, there is an American association, is there not? Yes, there is. Actually, there's... I mean, it's a, kind of a worldwide thing, the karate. There's your, there's your American, and there's also the Japanese. In both judo and karate, I belong to the Japanese. Now, would it be called a, an art today or a sport? It's karate. Actually, I mean, how is it used today? It's actually an art with a, uh, a sports deviation. In other words, uh, rondori, mm -hmm. or the sport of it, a uh, competition. Uh, you can use judo as a sport, but you can't use karate. Well, the, the, there's one thing we do want to point out in our program, as well as, as we con, uh, converse with Bill. You want to break a break for us? Well, we'll let that we'll let that one go today, Tom, and we can. But I mean, we might as well finish our little yeah, talk. Yeah, we're running out. We of had time, quite so a lot of demonstrations. We might tell them, but <laughs> because of difficulties, it. Uh, yeah. Um, at any rate, I'm getting back to the to the thing about. Uh, getting the black belt and the sport and so forth. Isn't it true that there are master uh, karate people now? Uh, yes. And you have to go before these people before you earn these various degrees? That's right. You have to go into actual combat in karate and uh, be judged on it by the masters. And it's, it's worked on a point system. Mm -hmm. And you have to, uh, in their eyes, have the knowledge, the know-how, and speed, everything, uh, to actually be awarded this belt. Mm -hmm. One of the things we want to mention, too, is that uh, or one of the things we want to talk about, the difference between karate and judo. Well, I'll let you set it up for the final, uh, final close-up here while time allows. Uh, the difference between judo and karate is the, uh, is the fact that judo, as you mentioned, is more or less a, a sport, whereas, uh, and you refer to it as the gentle touch. Karate is a little more vicious than that, isn't that true? Karate is more vicious. Uh, judo basically uses more throws. Mm -hmm. uh, where karate doesn't, it is all blows and uh, nerve pressure, pressure points and so forth. One of the shows on ABC uh, television this year uh, that many of our listeners have seen is a show called The Green Hornet. And in The Green Hornet, there's a, an actor by the name of Bruce Lee who is the Green Hornet's uh, sidekick, you might say. And we've noticed uh, many, many times on this program, and that's one of the reasons we're really talking about this today, is we've seen him use karate, or what I would call karate, in, uh, in, in, in the various series uh, as the show goes on week after week. Have you you've seen the show, haven't yes, you, Bill? Yes, I have, uh, Actually, what uh, Bruce Lee uses is a combination uh, most of us do. In other words, you don't stick with one particular art. He uses basic karate, but mm -hmm. it, uh, it again is It combines is it with judo and, and right. some of those other things. It's more effective And, of way. course, last week we saw that demonstration. Well, Bill, it's time to close, so uh, we'll have to say goodbye on Point of View and stay tuned next for the Homemaker Program. This brand new compact Hoover washer will wash and spin dry six pounds of clothes in just six minutes with only 10 gallons of water. Some fabrics even come out dry enough to iron. The new Hoover washer, made by the same people who make the vacuum cleaners. Why not see it in this nearby Hoover closet? Derb, showroom.